Mum said my body needs sleep to grow. I run with my dad every weekend. He says if you're fit and strong, you can do more in life. But if the earth is dying, what's the point? What will we be saying to our children? From the dawn of time, there has been living things in Antarctica and they have become endangered because of us. Gareth Morgan wants to know just how bad it is down there, so he's brought together 50 crew. Scientists, photographers and engineers. Their job is to research and help Antarctica so it doesn't become extinct. I'm here at the South Museum in Art Gallery, where Limehall School and Antarctica School are farewelling the courageous crew for the spirit of Enderby. Oh look, there's Gareth and the crew now. Now this is the route to get to Antarctica. Snares Island, Auckland Island, Macquarie Island and then all the way down to Cape Royds, Scott Base and last the Ross Ice Shelf. Now a little info from our friend Caleb. Antarctica was once part of a large country called Gondwana Land which was made up of Africa, Australia, India and New Zealand and it's the largest desert. Amazing, Caleb. Overfishing means too many fish are being caught. It means there are not enough fish to breed the next generation. I bet that will mean that it will cost us more to buy fish too. I have found out that biodiversity is vital for supporting all life on Earth. Because the temperature is rising, penguins are changing where they live. So the biodiversity of our far south is changing and that is not good for all of the world. I agree, Caleb. The Antarctic Treaty says Antarctica is a natural reserve devoted to peace and science. There's strict rules about waste disposal. Because it is so cold in Antarctica, nothing breaks it down and everything has to be taken out of the air. This will be a big problem if tourism continues to grow. Imagine all the aerobics. World famous conservationist David Bellamy says, if we lose the battle to save Antarctica, we might as well give up and wait for the planet to die. Oh my goodness, this is our problem, Ben. On this very sad note, this is Limehill's Discovery News. I'm Demi Lawrence. And I'm Ben Woodworth. Remember, Remember where it starts. Stop me from eating rubbish. The potassium and the banana peels make the flowers bloom better. Grow your own. There's no better taste. Plant more trees so we can breathe. Save the trees. Use less paper. I'm designing a trophy for rubbish free kids. Turn off all the switches when you leave the room. Buy local. We sell eggs at our school co op. Do you need to glad wrap everything in your lunch boxes? Save petrol, walk or bike to school. Give a tree for a tree. I'm going to give five friends five trees. And then soon they'll give five trees to their friends. And it'll just grow bigger and bigger. Don't keep pests as pets. Chinchillas and possums wreck the environment. Pick up after yourself. Let's use these kind of bags. Remember to recycle. You don't need plastic bags for rubbish liners, you just use your old newspaper. Thank you!